By the end of the day today, we'll know the eight Class B Legion baseball teams advancing to next week's state tournament in Carrington. So far, Hazen, Carrington, New Rockford, and Langdon have all qualified. The District 2 championship is in Burlington. It's the host team against two-time reigning champs, Renville County. Muskrat's Joe Savicole hit homer on Tuesday. Does it again today. Savicole, two-run blast, puts the Scrats ahead. Burlington hasn't lost yet in the tournament, so Renville would need to win this game to force a second game. Into the second inning, Bulldogs ground ball chopped to Hunter Tolstead at third. Throw to first takes Savicole off the bag, but he tags the runner. Show Savicole making a difference on both offense and defense today. Scratch put one more run on the board, but Braden Nelson strikes out a batter to end the inning. That makes it 3-0 to zero in favor of the defending district champions. Into the third, Braxton Fitzsimmons gets under this pitch, but it's able to drop out in the right center gap. That's enough time for Joe Savicole, Hunter Tolstead, and Will Arts all to cross home. The Scrats take control, forced a second championship game. I just got back from Burlington a few moments ago for the second game. Burlington took a lead in the first and held on. Bulldogs, you're going to state. Braden Nelson pitched the first five innings and went two for two at the plate. Jake Schaefer pitched in relief and also had two hits. Well, the full highlights tonight at 10. This afternoon, the Northwoods League released the Great Plains All-Star rosters. And Drew Woodcox is the first All-Star in Minot Hot Tots team history. He's hit five home runs and is one of the best hitters in the Northwoods League statistically. The Mankato Moondogs lead the way with 10 All-Stars. Woodcox is the only selection for Minot. That All-Star game is on August 1st, and it's in Bismarck. I'm sure Woodcox would like to add another home run to his total tonight against the Bismarck Larks. That's at Corbett Field. Hearing will be a packed house off Burdick. The Tots have won two in a row against the Larks. We'll have highlights tonight at 10. Before we go, good luck to the Valba Babe Ruth baseball team. After defeating Burlington 10-1 in the championship game, they're on their way to Park River for the state tournament. And remember, as always, don't come back without a trophy or at least just remember to have fun. Haley, I always love those sights, seeing main streets of Class B towns packed with the lights and signs. It's just so much fun. Yes, definitely. We'll be right back.